Welcome to the Regional Training Center where you'll conduct your workout before you deploy. You've already been through basic, but since you likely forgot already, we're going to cover the fundamentals. Your compass at the bottom of your display is essential to figuring out which way you're going. Orders from your squad and fire team leaders will also appear here. Now head northwest towards the obstacle course. Let's see what you're made of. Get your ass to this obstacle course. Pick up the pace. Get over to that next obstacle. Double time. Up and over the obstacle. Jump up to reach the top and pull yourself over. Looks like you need some help, so why don't you ask your fellow knucklehead over there to help you over this wall. Balance yourself on those beams and get to the other side. If you fall, you gotta start again. This next evolution will get you used to what it's like to be under fire. You will be stressed, and this is a live fire exercise. Enemy contact! Keep your head down and keep moving. And keep your head down and keep moving! Real. Keep moving. I am absolutely astonished you're not dead. Get yourself geared up and get to the next station. Your next period of instruction will be about field dressings. The standard issue field dressing is critical for stopping all kinds of bleeding and trauma. Not only can you use it on yourself, but to also stabilize other wounds in the field, as you will see in the next station. Thanks. Welcome to my main base. There's a number of things you can do here, from weapons familiarization to learning about how you can communicate with your... This is an example of some of the ways you can be deployed in the field. The rally point is only for you and your squad, while the big bunker-looking structure... This is your standard issue rifle. It may come in different forms and attachment configurations, but it does what any good infantry weapon does best. Suppress and kill the enemy. All riflemen and support roles carry this as their primary weapon. The best way for you to shoot is in single shots. Take a moment between each shot and make sure you're still on target. Automatic riflemen and machine gunners carry a machine gun like this to the field. Flying from a supported position, these weapons are highly effective at suppressing the enemy and can deliver the firepower of a team of riflemen. Designated marksmen are issued with a high caliber rifle designed to reach out and touch the enemy from further ranges than a standard issue rifle. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Take your time when it comes to these crucial shots. primary. Your sidearm is your next best friend in emergency situations. Pistols are not designed to be effective at longer ranges, so don't try and hit a fly at 100 meters. Grenadiers in your squad. Anti-tank rolls are issued with rocket launchers that, depending on their yield, can damage and destroy enemy vehicles. The rockets need a bit of distance to arm, so avoid firing these at close range. The launcher also fires a deadly backblast, so make sure your rear is clear before firing.
caves are incredibly dangerous and should be treated with respect. However, they are a great means of clearing out a room and a group of enemies. All rolls are issued with these, either in the fragmentation or smoke variety for concealment.
taking down the enemy FOB, one of their primary means of reinforcement. There are alternative means of taking down enemy FOBs such as a shovel, but explosives tend to be the most effective. Thinking about boots like you in charge of C4 is what keeps me up at night, but you somehow managed not to blow yourself up. So that's good, I guess. This concludes your infantry pre-deployment training. There are still many aspects of the battlefield that only experience can teach you. So learn from your buddies and trust your squad leaders. If you need more practice on a particular weapon system or vehicle, the Jensen's range facility is available at any time. Good luck out there, soldier.